And as you can see, it's finished in your military green. And this is definitely going to be a one of a kind and very difficult to find. Uh, this is the last one that we have. And I can tell you, especially with the exchange rate right now, this is one, if you've been looking for it, you need to jump on immediately because I don't foresee it lasting long. This, in fact, was the commander vehicle. So you can see here with the, I believe we can consider this sort of a desk. It has your locks for the drawers. And um, there you go. You can see that uh, the commander used that for uh, anything that he needed and which needed to stay safe while he was out on the job and through the terrain. And in the back here, it seats three extremely comfortably. It is almost like a luxurious military, carpet. right? Yeah, it says carpet yeah, I mean, in there. It's, I, I don't even know if you want to consider it to be an off-road ride because it is so nice, but it is. Um, and we can actually, we have uh, front lockers, back lockers, and center lockers as well. You can lock them on the fly. So uh, as you're moving, you're able to uh, lock all four wheels. And again, this is a 710K. So um, just an awesome vehicle that is going to be so hard for you to find and uh, i can see 79,000 kilometers yes yeah, 79,000 kilometers it is a very nasty day out here there are mosquitoes and flies everywhere um here's your sire pook penskauer uh emblem there and this is going to be your front hitch you can see under here we are rust free and as we move along on the passenger's side of this vehicle, once again, um, even though this is a military vehicle, it has been so well kept and uh, maintained. And if you know anything about the uh, military over in Austria, they are very strict. So anytime that you have them maintaining these vehicles, you know they have been maintained well. This is gonna be sort of your uh, <laughs> your spotter hole I guess is what we would call that um, so if you have somebody who needs to stand out um, look if you guys are hunters this would definitely be something that would be good for you you can stand outside of the spotter hole um, with I assume your rifle and utilize that hole uh, for that purpose <laughs> the carpet in here is so pristine and perfect I really can't get over um, the way this vehicle is to consider it a military vehicle is almost uh, hilarious in a way but it really is I'm actually going to take it off road for you guys today so get ready get excited um, I'm just as nervous as you are I can promise you that um, here is going to be your sort of your luggage area if you will cargo. Uh, cargo yep your cargo space whatever it is that you need you guys can transform this into anything that you're looking for um, you can make this uh, blacked out completely uh, including what you would consider the passenger side doors it has been raining here I did say it's a nasty day um, so I apologize for anything that kind of looks wet and gross or if there's bugs um, <clears throat> it's just the way it is I have Ryan in the background <laughs> He's literally doing this the whole time. <laughs> He's running away because <laughs> I'm talking about him. But it's just the truth. Um, but you can see here is a good example of the blacked out windows. And you can do this on the passenger side, sides, plural, as well. Um, and here is um, an example from the top. This is a hard top Penskauer, which is also very hard to find. Right now, the exchange rate exchange rate um, from Europe to here is about $1.24 US dollars. So uh, you are saving a ton because you really can't get them imported right now to make any sense at all um, unless you're just extremely desperate. So if this is something you're looking for, you definitely want to um, act now. So I'm going to try to take it out on a test drive for you guys. And oh, I will say uh, about the engine, we have a, I believe it's a two, 
2.5 liter. 2.5 liter, yes, and it's a four cylinder and it's an air cooled engine. So um, I'm gonna take it out for you guys just so you can uh, see how awesome it and is. And behind the driver's seat, it has an auxiliary heater. That's the exhaust yes. or the intake. And this auxiliary heater, we haven't tested it, but it's here. If you need to be out camping or so, it's very, very easy. You stay warm in there forever. Forever and ever. All right, so I'm going to turn the key over to get this started up for you. You can see we have 79,539 kilometers on the clock. And here's your push to start, guys. You didn't know it was such a luxurious uh, military vehicle, did you? Um, this is going to have a, or it does have a clear US title. I'm just gonna get us going a little bit. I'm not very experienced in driving this, so do please uh, give me some slack here. <laughs> oh, God. But it's better than my other military vehicles I've done in the past because I wouldn't even as much try to accomplish driving them. Um, this one I'm not too nervous about. Here's gonna be your lockers. This is your emergency brake here, the black handle, and your lockers. Can you guys gonna help? Shift one time. There we go. Wow. All right. It is loud as well, so I apologize, but I'm sure you can understand why it's so loud. And I don't want to scratch the baby up, so I'm going to be real careful about the locations in which I bring the truck. I'm just going to drive it around for you guys to see. You know the capabilities of it. If you've ever seen a Penscower in action, I'm gonna go slow through here. You will, I'll, I'll pull back around there. You'll know that um, this truck is capable of basically anything um, and it will not uh, let you down. I do have uh, my other sales guy in the back. I can tell you he is holding on and holding his breath. <laughs> Along with the camera guy, but he's not too, uh, Okay, fast by a second. Okay. Fast by a second. Now we put it in low gear. All you need to do is move that lever back. So, here we go. Okay, come on, Marianne, let's go. Gonna put the front wheel drive on. If you video, can you save it okay. to your yeah. phone? Okay, okay. go. You gotta go what with do the I low say? Gear. I put on. Yeah, we put it in low gear. You're on video, you're live. Oh, you didn't stop? Nope. Come on, <laughs> keep on going. Hate you. I'm all thinking I'm off camera. See, there's your behind the scenes, guys. That's what it's really like. Am I going over from this side? Yes. Oh my god, are you sure? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. gonna go with a big uh, place here. Again? Yeah, it's very low gear now. That's first gear, that's the crawler gear. Same thing though, back over okay, here? Yeah, this way. Okay. And I'm going over the big thing? Yeah. Okay. It probably doesn't look that big to you guys, but I'm telling you, it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop so you can hear me. 
Anything okay. you want to say, camera guy? No, it's Ryan, for sale. It's the last there? one. I'm alive. Where's Ryan? He's in the back. The chilling. commander. He's our commander chilling. tonight. Yeah, he's just chilling out. Yep. Praying okay. to God. Seven ten k for sale from the Austrian military. Here it is. Yay! That's good. That's good. Seventy nine thousand on the clock. And you guys experienced Marianne's first off road, and that is there is no test drive on that. That this was the was first it. time. And in high heels. And in my stilettos, Biaches. <laughs> whoop whoop. All right. I will see you guys on the next one. Subscribe.